it is a very important trace element uh, and should be used uh, by everyone who's deficient and most people are deficient. Uh, iodine is very important in thyroid function but it's also important in the function of your immune system. It, is, uh, it detoxifies your body, it helps kill bacteria, it helps kill viruses. Um, so iodine has importance other than the thyroid and unfortunately most doctors are not taught that. It goes back to a study done in 1949. Uh, it's called the Wolf-Chaikoff study. The study was very, very limited in its, uh, in its content and in its purpose. It was to show the sufficiency of iodine for the thyroid, which it did, but it discounted thyroid or, or um, iodine use for uh, other body functions. And that was a big mistake because it's led to years of people not taking enough iodine. Well, of course, we're taught that it can. I've never seen a case in 36 years, and I don't know anyone else that's ever seen a case. If they do see a case, what's called iodism or toxicity to iodine, I think it is most likely related to displacing uh, bromine or, or chlorine or something of that nature, which is a similar atom, uh, and, it, uh, and it causes toxicity. I do. I give iodine supplementation to most of my patients. There are a few that I don't, um, but most do take iodine. The people in Japan uh, per capita take about 45 milligrams a day, and we're taught in medical school not to give over 0.2 milligrams a day. That's 225 times less. Japanese people are very, very, very healthy. They have no breast cancer, fibrocystic breast disease, polycystic ovary syndrome. So something's going on there we haven't fully described, but we think it does prevent those conditions from developing.